Hello everyone and welcome to the next edition of the Train and Talk series. My name is Sinead from the team and I am talking to our trainers about the different offerings we have and showcasing today the Diploma in Corporate Finance. And I am delighted that we have the Programme Director Cormac Lucy joining us. Cormac, you are so very welcome. Thank you so much for coming along. How are you today? Very good. Thank you, Sinead. Thank you again for coming along. And I'm really interested in talking today a little bit about the Diploma in Corporate Finance. But that aside, let's get to know you maybe a little bit better. And um, maybe would you mind giving us a bit of an introduction? Uh, I'm a chartered accountant. Uh, I, since qualifying as a chartered accountant, I've worked in auditing, consulting in industry, both in Ireland and Germany. Uh, and I've also worked in banking and in corporate finance. So I have a very, a bit of a jack of all trades uh, career uh, menu. Uh, <laughs> so expert of, in, in a lot of things. <laughs> Absolutely, uh, a full CV there by the sounds of it, Cormac, which is brilliant. And obviously you are um, a, a trainer with yourselves. Would you tell us a bit about the training then that you do with us, Cormac? I teach uh, mainly on the diploma in corporate finance. I also do uh, continuous prof uh, professional development courses. But the Diploma in Corporate Finance really uh, encompasses the foundations of my knowledge and uh, that's what I, I enjoy talking and teaching about most. So that's right in your wheelhouse and of course then you being the lead in that programme Cormac it would be great to maybe step through a bit of the meat of that. So in terms of that programme Cormac what's covered you know what are the subject matter within that? Well most of the time uh, accountants are managing other people's money or they're recording how other people are managing their money. What corporate finance is about is trying to uh, create value for those who employ you or indeed for yourself. So it's very much focused on value creation, on understanding how value is created. Uh, so what the, the specific areas that are covered in the, the pro diploma course Firstly, there are just foundations. Just how does value get created? It sounds very basic. Lots of people throw it out as a glib phrase, value creation. But what actually lies behind it? We go into that. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Uh, analyzing financial statements, understanding uh, is a company doing well? Is a company doing badly? How might it tweak itself to do better? Uh, evaluating investment decisions. How do you compute a company's cost of capital, which is a critical ingredient into evaluating investment decisions, but it's also the critical ingredient in terms of is the company generating value or not? Uh, we look at funding the company. How does the company finance itself? You know, what combination of debt and equity does it use? We look at valuation, which I think is the most interesting aspect, but it's also the most subjective and judgmental uh, and easy to get wrong. Uh, and, and then at the end, we, we, we covered the central part, really, of corporate finance, which is transactions, mergers, acquisitions, the, the, the documentation, uh, contracts and thought processes that go on behind the nitty gritty uh, of getting a transaction over the line. So lots packed in by the signs of it, which is which is super, really, you know, something there for 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 everyone. And there's a couple of popular questions we get, Cormac, so if we're touching those, one of them is around the delivery. How is this program delivered, Cormac? It's delivered uh, through lectures that uh, are, are, are delivered remotely at the minute. Uh, they have been delivered physically in the past. So that's kind of a, we will see where that goes uh, in the future. They feature uh, you know, theory in terms of getting the grounding right. They feature tools, to allow you put into practice the theory. They feature uh, high-end readings from top-level professionals in the area, not so much as a core course, but as a supplement for those who have, you know, are particularly interested in, in, in going down a particular uh, corporate finance rabbit hole and going deeper down into that area. So that you're, you, you, the door is opened to further learning and, and further experiences and further insights. Brilliant. And yeah, I'm glad you sort of mentioned there the online piece. So it's accessible then to, to everyone um, across the island and beyond. And another popular question, Cormac, how is it assessed? It's assessed through uh, assessments. No, that's yeah. a great answer, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Uh, it is so, what it is, though. <laughs> so, so they're really uh, 
case study type yeah. questions that zone in on the skill sets that you would need to have to be able to be an effective corporate financier or a practice or an advisor in the corporate finance area. So we're looking at things like uh, evaluating a set of financial statements, okay. things like estimating a company's cost of capital, and then uh, a, a sort of a general case study in terms of transaction management. Uh, you know, how would you value a company? What items would you be zoning in on in terms of uh, an offer letter for a company? What things would you need to be focusing on in due diligence? So really to try to make as practical as possible yeah. or, or as aligned as possible to the practice of corporate finance, the evaluation of people doing the diploma in the subject. And is that throughout the course, Cormac, or is that at the end? There are three uh, assessments and uh, the, the, the big one is at the end, but there, there are two uh, then during the course. Brilliant. No, thank you for stepping through that. And I suppose the next question is around who might find this beneficial? You know, who attends this course? Who is it for, ideally? I think there are different categories of people for whom it, yeah. would, it, who it would suit. One is somebody who's just gone into corporate finance yeah. and they're, they're green to the area and they want to get a quick picture of the all encompassing areas that they might uh, have to delve into. Uh, another is for somebody who is in a, a mainline finance role, maybe reporting, mm -hmm. and they're looking to expand their horizons. They're looking perhaps to apply for a job in a corporate finance or corporate finance related area, and they want to uh, dip their toe in the water before they dive fully in. Uh, and then there are, there are people who may just have a sort of an intellectual interest in the subject. To my mind, it's, it's by far and away the most interesting aspect of finance and of accounting. Uh, now, it's also, it, it isn't, there aren't, there, in many cases, there are not right or wrong answers. There, 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 you know, there's an awful lot of judgment involved uh, and different people can legitimately arrive at different conclusions, even if given the same set of facts. So it, it, it makes it interesting that way as well. So a real mix of students welcome onto the course. Fantastic. And I suppose in terms of maybe wrapping up, because I suppose today's video is a, a little bit of a, a teaser. What would you say to someone considering this? If they're having a look at it, what might you say to them? I think the, the, the I would say to them, are you interested yeah. in really understanding how your area of work actually functions. Are you interested in learning how value is created? Uh, and I'm, I'm, I would be slightly concerned as a chartered accountant that there are a, an astonishing, there's an astonishing proportion of people working in finance who talk about value but may not really understand how it's created or may not understand how to evaluate whether it is being created. So getting the fundamentals right I think is the, is the foundation to uh, going further into the field and getting the details right and then applying that in practice uh, in, in doing merger and acquisition transactions. Absolutely. Cormac, thank you. I really appreciated having that short chat with you today. I no doubt the audience tuning in will have enjoyed getting that flavour of the programme. So thank you so much for coming along and sharing that today. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Sinead. Brilliant. And folks watching along, stay tuned on the next slide. We'll pop details of when the next program is kicking off. Thanks a million for watching.